animal-like demonic state and you have no idea what's going on and yes there was a time where I was just like completely don't give a shit because it happened and I was the type of kid that thought that you know you're in the presence of royalty and they make it seem like you're in the presence of Hollywood so you should be you should be honored and you should be appreciating that you're there and I was that person I totally acted like that I was like oh it's fine you know it really doesn't matter but then it really did matter when um, my pimp was like in a shocking revelation, outspoken Ali Carter has raised some serious allegations against music mogul Diddy. She has accused Diddy of exploiting young boys and girls, along with some powerful celebrities from the entertainment industry. In 2020, I went viral. We lost our home, we lost our animals, we lost everything. Child Protective Services was involved in my trafficking. I never thought that we would see the day where Diddy would get arrested. And I told you guys in that Maria Z interview in 2021 that no one tells on Diddy. Just the same way nobody tells on Denzel Washington. People don't usually talk and stop and think about the children victims that are going through things right now as we speak. According to Carter, this dark side of Hollywood would emerge from the shadows in Combs' elite parties, where individuals like herself were expected to bend backward and forward for Hollywood biggies messaging us, investigators, people that want to talk now, when now it's because it's trending. All the adults are, I left at a certain time, yet you knew children were there. You knew these parties were not okay. They weren't freak-offs. They were satanic ritual. It wasn't just adults in these parties. The adults were responsible for the child. Diddy's infamous parties have recently been making rounds in the news circuit following his arrest. Who gonna turn down 50 million? Now, I've had to turn down $50 million four times. Four times. Just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about. <laughs> right. Because uh, P. Diddy be wanting to body. And you gotta tell him no. Oh, you Lord. got to tell him no. I, I did. I did. See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you will be exposed. I mean, when I walk in, I mean, I, I definitely um, take pride in being the originator of the pre preparation of the sex. Little, little things that I, I personally like. A lot of ladies, they right. just, you know, so you have, if you don't have what they need, they're going to leave. Right. Got to right. keep them there. Right. You need, you need locks on the doors. P. Diddy be wanting to body. And you got to tell him no. Oh, you Lord. got to tell him no. All of these uh, big, big deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you did or whoever you is. Carter claims these parties were simply a disguise for celebrities like Diddy to break all boundaries under the pretense of extravagant celebrations. These accusations are from incidents that occurred many years ago when she was allegedly trafficked in as a minor. She believes it is now more important than ever to break silence on what Diddy has been doing for years, how he has exploited young men and women for his entertainment. Those people who was caught at Diddy party did not know that he had 250 tape recorders in that house. That's a big house. But he had 250 tape recorders in that house that they took, that the feds found. So now with them finding all that and you being at a Diddy party. Ali has signed an affidavit of truth, so there's no questioning her version of the story. But what's even more alarming than the allegations about Diddy are the names on this affidavit. When the music started, I was sitting on the party favor table. The main room was big, like a ballroom. There were outlying doors around the edges of the room. Some of the doors were shut, but you could still see the food, beep, table, the party favor table, and many other things. There were different types of beepy parties happening in different areas of the house. There were several girls that had to have beep with animals while everyone watched. Another girl and I ended up throwing up afterward, and they rubbed our faces in each other's vomit as a punishment. So, 
um, the harder it is to get out. No one knows where the doors are. No one knows where the exits are. No one knows um, where some of these tunnels lead to. Um, so it's it's not as easy as just, just say, I'm just gonna get out or I'm just going to um, try to find a way out. If you are walked in, you're escorted in, somebody has to help you get out. But it looks like people in influential positions don't want Ali Carter's truth to come out. Her ex-account has been permanently banned. Do you think Carter's account being suspended is a coincidence? Or is Diddy involved in the silencing act? If we consider all the celebrities who used to attend these freak off parties, it's possible that many Hollywood elites would want to silence her for good. Ali Carter isn't the only one speaking out about what went down behind closed doors. Other victims have also come forward with allegations against Diddy. These claims highlight the sinister side of Hollywood and how influential celebrities support each other's wrong actions. Seeing what they do, the ritualistic behaviors, the putting girls in the suitcases, dumping them in alleyways. It's, it's, it's horrifying. And it's all done under the protection of, this is gonna be paid off. There's another NDA. This is gonna be, it's terrible. Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, nah, not really. I Come mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. No air conditioning. No. Why is that? Heat affects the alcohol and it also affects like, um, you know, everybody gets a little bit more comfortable and loose. Builds up a nice little sweat. I think it's time to start freaking out about what we don't know about this Diddy situation. With more people revealing the shocking truth about Diddy, it looks like his brutality wasn't limited to Hollywood outsiders. Diddy's assistant and the mother of his children, Kim Porter, allegedly found copies of disturbing tapes featuring Diddy and young kids hidden inside his vault. These of the sex tapes that Diddy made of himself having sex with young boys that he was managing, including an alleged tape involving an 18-year-old pop star who went on to become a household name. Porter alleges that she, when she discovered those videotapes of Sean and his sexual encounters in the bedroom in this vault, she made copies of them as protection for herself realized that this is a very dangerous situation. I'm going to make copies for protection for myself and included it as a part of her plan to leave him. But the memoir says that when she watched back the tapes, she was so shocked because there were things, quote, some of the tapes had things I would have never expected. The gay parties are one thing, but the young boys, like the two hip hop stars formerly managed by Diddy and the then 18 year old pop star, I would have never known. It's a Gene Deal, his bodyguard. Yeah, I talked to him yesterday. Really? Yeah. Because he had a really astonishing quote. You should hear the one he's not saying. It's even crazier. Right. So he's got stuff in the tuck that he hasn't put out there? Everybody does. However, before she could take any action against the music mogul, she met an untimely death. According to reports, Porter passed away from pneumonia. However, her family members are convinced that Diddy was somehow involved in her sudden death. Do you believe Diddy has something to do with Kim Porter's death? Absolutely. Without hesitation. The incident that him and Kim had when she took the court screw when they were fighting, you know, and ripped his whole wrist up. That's what helped Pup, that's what, that's how Puff got on drugs. You understand those painkillers? Because Kim wasn't taking it from him. Diddy's abusive nature is not a secret. His bodyguard has claimed that he was aggressive and often abused Porter. He also alleges that Porter knew everything about Diddy, so her passing was a blessing for him. If she had spoken up, which she was planning to do with her book, all of Diddy's secrets would come out. For someone at the top of his career, Porter's book could have immensely damaged Diddy's reputation. You understand? Kim knew why he was using the... 
man. <laughs> Despite Porter's sudden death, the manuscript from her alleged memoir titled Kim's Lost Words, A Journey for Justice from the Other Side got into the right hands. The book exposes physical abuse, sexual coercion, and other acts of violence Combs allegedly committed. Muffin Usher did have a situation, and that situation led Usher to the hospital. Now I let Usher explain that to y'all. I let Usher tell that story. But how dare you say a man that groomed you, you gonna give him a pass. Bro, you know I know. But along with the manuscript, some of the secret tapes that Porter had recovered from Diddy's vault also became public. Courtney Burgess, Kim Porter's former associate, came forward claiming that Combs's ex-girlfriend shared a few flash drives with him. One thing, Diddy is, I call Diddy Lucifer. If you know anything about um, religion, who Lucifer was, Lucifer was one of the, who was in charge of music in heaven, mm -hmm. but he was corrupt. So God uh, took away his body and put him out of heaven. So that's what um, Diddy do. He take kids' bodies, he take men' bodies, he take female bodies, because he wanted he want to do that voodoo. He want to do the, he want to be the, the gatekeeper, and he learned that from Jay. He became a witness and even testified before the Combs Grand Jury in the Southern District of New York. When Burgess appeared on News Nation, he revealed that he was given 11 flash drives containing at least eight sex tapes involving eight celebrities. Those eight videos, eight celebrities, six men and two women, how many of those eight celebrities um, were, were close to being underage or potentially two. underage? Two males. Um, that were, <clears throat> excuse me, actually on those tapes. So you said you had, uh, it was uh, Justin Bieber. Usher. Um, Usher. Um, who else? It was um, the, the, Will the, the, the actress. Will Smith's son. Will Smith's son. That's correct. Which one? Which one? Because he got a couple. He got the older one. The young, I believe that's got, the youngest one. I don't know which one he got, oh, but the, the youngest one. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. That's the one that the little karate kid guy. Right, right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Pursuit and, um, of happiness and all that. Yeah, and Bow Wow. Damn. You know what i Even Ray J. Ray J fronting like he wanna be um Among these eight celebrities, two were minors, according to Burgess. Diddy is in deep trouble, even if he denies all allegations against him, and Ali Carter's claims complicate his already precarious legal battle. Although Diddy's team is trying hard to fight these charges, Carter isn't willing to back down. She is confident that there are many more victims out there who have been wronged by Diddy. She believes her strong stance will encourage others to own up to the truth. Carter's claim of sexual abuse and trafficking is further backed by the intricate network of tunnels found at his residence. We had to uh, take an elevator and stairs. Uh, you ha we had to be led. There is no way that you can just walk into a tunnel. There, the entrances and the exits are in your face, but there's no way that you can just walk through tunnels. There's, you'll get stuck. You'll um, go deeper and deeper. You won't be able to come back out because it's hard because the tunnels run all different directions for miles and miles and miles and miles. So if you go down the wrong one, you'll get stuck. And it's confusing to turn back around and get back to where you're going. So you have to be led in and out. No one wants to talk about P. Diddy, why? He's an but like, how come everybody's so silent? Well, he's a big trip. I think he's a real big trip. They just, they just uncovered tunnels underneath his house. Diddy's? Yes. Is that true? Yes. I don't. I've never. Been, I don't know. I don't like him, and I really don't like what he did to those women and men. What could the tunnels be used for? What do you think? Taking people in and out from the Playboy Mansion to to what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't like a dungeon or something. The feds allegedly found children's clothes and toys in some of these tunnels, leaving authorities to speculate the purpose of these secret tunnels. What were they used for? And what were children's clothes doing there? It looks like only a handful of celebrities are willing to talk about Diddy and the underground tunnels under his mansion. No one wants to talk about P. Diddy. Why? Because he's an asshole. But, like, how come everybody's so silent? Well, he's a big trip. 
I think it's a real big joke. They just, for, they just uncovered tunnels underneath this house. Did he? Yes. Is that true? Yes. I don't, I've never been, I don't know him. I don't like him. And I really don't like what he did to those women and men. What could the tunnels be used for? What do you think? Taking people in and out from the Playboy Mansion to... to what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't... Like a dungeon or something? Young men have left their house screaming to get away from them in their mentorship. Meek Mills. Bashir Gray. Others are simply refusing to comment. Are there tunnels under there? Like, people are saying there's tunnels. Tunnels for what? Well, tunnels from the Playboy Mansion to Diddy's. Jason, hey, my man, do you have any reaction to the Diddy scandal? Any reaction? What's your take on Ali Carter's allegations? Tell us in the comments. Until next time.